All right. So I just got done reading Unmagical Girl, Volume 1, by Ryoichi Yukiyama. And you know what? It was all right. This could be a legitimately decent gag anime. It very well could be. It's it's your run of the mill. Oh my gosh. Um, cute magical girl enters real world. You know all that good fun stuff. But um, it's 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 pretty charming. Like legitimately charming. It's um. The first volume gets into a lot of stuff. Like they like they finish a lot of the run of the mill. Wow, she sure is acclimating to the new world, fish out of water situation. There's a lot of things that it uh just well, not exactly skips over, but they don't focus on it to such a degree that you become tired of it. And I think that's pretty good because usually there's a really big problem with um you know uh expediency in a gag anime like this or just anime where it's supposed to be fish out of water but uh what we really need to talk about is some of this wonderful art things like this and penny shots like that they happen frequently they're not really well etchy or erotic they just kind of happen like Yep, they sure are girls, and they sure do wear panties, and since they often wear skirts, that's something that happens. And, um, we, we all must, right now, let me find the page. It's very important that we all give credence to Best Man Father Coon, who uh, made all of this possible for our main character and for Magical Girl Near Brave. Now, um, going into, like, characters and how they interact with one another, uh, Near Brave is, she's, mm, she's kind of a normal, pretty magical girl, except, uh, when she's not following the quote-unquote script, as she calls it, she's, uh, kind of like a little asshole. Like, she's just kind of mean to our main character. She's a bit of a child. And, uh, our main character, which I can never remember her name, um, she's just a dang old neat otaku who's in college and, and, um, is, is, has all the anime figurines and such. Uh, I don't see a panel in here anywhere that I can, oh, there goes one of those panty shots that happen so frequently. But, yeah, it, it's probably later on in the manga where they just let you know that she's a real fucking neat. And I'm not gonna, like, spoil everything in the this here manga. I just want you to know that this is, uh, pretty fucking decent. Also, this cover art is just a real picture of real people in the Japan. And, uh, she's just superimposed over it. And, uh, I did not notice this the first time I looked at this cover, but I think it's quite nice. Um, I would very much so like to see more of this at my Barnes & Noble, but I have a feeling that it's not going to be that popular. Even though I like it quite a bit, I don't think it's going to get an anime adaptation either. But, um, if you like your Fish Out of Water, water stories, um, you know, go ahead and grab this. Or if you just like nice, uh, slice of life type of stuff. I think this is it. This is pretty good. 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 if you're some weird panty zealot. <laughs> or something like that. But uh, it's it's fairly decent. Would read again. And will join all the other nasty things on my bookshelf. Plus that Chipotle bag. See you guys.